Hi students, how are you? I hope you are always healthy. Well, today we are going to discuss about the city and the countryside. Well, what do you know about the city and the countryside? Hmm. Let's see the next slide. All right. Let's discuss about the countryside first. A countryside is a land not in towns, cities, or industrial area that is either used for farming or left on its natural condition. Look at the picture of the countryside. Okay, now let's continue. Mm, what things can we see in the countryside? Okay. Today we will learn some vocabularies related to the things in the countryside. Please repeat after me. Farm. Farm. Fields. Fields, forest, forest, hills, hills, mountain, mountain, river, river, lake. Lake Pond Pond Path Path Village Village Okay, now we move to the city. Look at the picture. What do you find? in the city all right museum library movie theater okay the city there are lots of interesting stores and restaurants in a city there are wonderful parks museums libraries and movie theaters in the cities. Well, students, we have learned about uh, some vocabularies of um, the city and the countryside. Now we move to the grammar focus of this topic. Before I explain about the grammar focus, uh, look at the questions here. Where do you live? Do you like living there? Where would you like to live? In a city or in the countryside? And how long have you lived there? So, this is the grammar focus on present perfect tense. I have lived there for 20 years. Okay, so the present perfect tense describes actions which have been completed or done. Okay, now let's move to the next slide. I will explain the form and the functions. And I will explain the form first. There are three forms. The first is affirmative or positive, the second is negative, and the third is interrogative. The first one is affirmative. Subject plus have or has plus verb 3. Okay, remember this form. I, you, we, they, or plural subjects like Cindy and Dina. Dina and I. 
So use have plus verb 3. Okay, but if you use he, she, or it, or singular subjects, like for example, the cat, Cindy, Dina, now you use has plus verb 3. Look at the examples. I have gone to Merapi Mountain. She has visited a lake in the countryside. They have lived in that village for 40 years. And the second is negative. Subject plus have or has plus not plus verb 3. Okay. Examples. I haven't or I have not gone to Merapi Mountain. She hasn't or she has not visited the lake in the countryside. And they haven't lived in that village for 40 years. And the third is interrogative. The form is have or has plus subject plus verb 3 and question mark. Have you gone to Merapi Mountain? Has she visited the lake in the countryside? Have they lived in that village for 40 years? Okay, now we move to the functions of the present perfect tense. The first is for an action that happened in unspecified time. So we do not know the time exactly. Well, look at the picture of the room. Okay, find the difference. Well, so, um, we can see the sentence here. The children have tidied their room. So, the room becomes clean. Okay, when? We do not know when they uh, clean the room. The second is for an action that has just finished. Well, look at the boy. Okay, eating and then okay. The first picture Mark is having lunch and the second picture shows that he has just had lunch. The time expression is just baru saja. The third is for an action that started in the past and hasn't finished. Terjadi di masa lampau dan belum selesai sampai saat ini. So look at the house in 2000 and the house in 2015. Okay, look at the sentences. We bought the house in 2000. We still live in the neighborhood. We have lived here for 15 years. We have lived here since 2000. Remember, the Chinese expressions are for, selama, and since. Sejak. The next function is for experiences we have or haven't lived. Well, look at these uh, pictures. Okay, now let's uh, pay attention to the sentences. He has flown a plane, but he has never tried bungee jumping. Second, have you ever traveled by plane? 
the time expressions are ever, pernah, and never, tidak pernah. Okay, so in present perfect tense, we have some other time expressions like ever, never, just, already, yet, for, since, how long, so far, lately, or recently, and always. Well, guys, if you do not know the meanings of these time expressions, you can check the dictionary. Okay. The last one, I will explain about have gone to and have been to. Do you know the difference between have gone to and have been to? Okay, if you do not know it yet, so uh, let's see the example. Mary has gone to London. I miss her so much. So has gone means that she is still there. She is still in London. The next is have been to. Let's see the conversation of these two women. Have you ever been to London? Of course, I've been to London a lot of times. It's such an amazing city. Okay, because it tells one's experience. Uh, so, it uses I have been to means that I have gone and I have come back from London. Okay, that's about have been to and also have gone to. Well, students, this is the end of the first meeting. If you want to ask questions, just go to the forum. Thank you.